Hey guys, want to unlock the bootloader on your Motorola phone but don't have a PC? No worries. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact method to unlock the bootloader on any Motorola device without a computer. And yes, this method actually works in 2025 and even in 2026, just the real method that actually works on almost every Motorola phone. But before we start, let's be honest for a second. Unlocking the bootloader will void your warranty. It will also erase everything on your phone. So please back up your data first. Also, never re-lock the bootloader after unlocking. Many Motorola phones get permanently bricked if you re-lock them, and the only fix is replacing the motherboard. And lastly, some devices simply cannot be unlocked. These are carrier-locked models, and there's no workaround for them. Alright, enough intro. Let's jump right in. I'm using a Moto G71 on Android 12, but this works on nearly every Motorola phone ever made. G-Series, Edge, Fusion, even those fancy Razer foldables. The steps are identical. The first step to unlock the Motorola bootloader is to enable developer options. Start by opening the settings app. Scroll all the way down and tap on about phone. Now find build number and tap on it seven times until you see a message, you are now a developer. Once that's done, go back to the settings menu. Now go to system, then tap on developer options. Here you'll see the OEM unlocking option. Right now the bootloader is locked. So just turn this option on. This is what allows the bootloader to be unlocked later. Next, scroll down a bit and look for USB debugging. Turn this on as well. This lets your Motorola phone communicate with the other Android device. Now it's time to connect both phones. Use a Type-C to C cable and connect your Motorola phone to the second Android phone. I'm using a Pixel 6a, but you can use any Android phone as your secondary device. When you plug them in, make sure the charging status appears on the Motorola phone, not on secondary phone. As soon as you connect both phones, you'll see a USB debugging permission pop up on your Motorola phone. Just tap allow to grant access. And there we go. The phone is now successfully connected in the Bugjigger app. Now inside the Bugjigger app, go to the fastboot section and tap reboot bootloader. Your Motorola phone will restart and enter bootloader mode. Let's wait a moment until the Moto fully boots into fastboot mode. Alright, my Motorola phone is now in bootloader mode, also called fast boot mode. As you can see, it says OEM locked, which means the bootloader is locked. It's time to unlock the bootloader. Inside the Bookjigger app on your secondary Android phone, click on this button to open command prompt. Here, type this command, fastboot OEM get unlocked data. Once you run this command, you'll see several lines of text appear on the screen, each starting with the word bootloader. Now carefully copy all those lines and paste them into any text editor on your phone. Make sure there are no spaces or line breaks when you paste it later. Next, remove the word bootloader from every line so you end up with one single continuous string of characters. This code will be used to get your official unlock key from Motorola's website in the next step. Now open the browser on your secondary phone and go to the Motorola bootloader unlock website. Link is in the description. You'll need to sign in using your Google account or Motorola account. Once you're logged in, scroll down and paste the unlock data you copied earlier into the text box. Once you've pasted it, click on the button that says, can my device be unlocked? If your dev size is eligible, just right below that, you'll see an option to request unlock key. Just tap on it and Motorola will send the unlock key to your registered email within a few seconds. Let's open the email inbox and check for the message. Alright, here it is. We've received the email from Motorola. It contains the unlock code that you'll need to actually unlock the bootloader. Now copy that unlock code from your email and go back to your text editor. Now you'll need to paste it after this command. Fastboot OEM unlock. Once the command is ready, copy the whole line. Go back to the Bookjigger terminal and paste it there. Once you run this command, your phone will show a confirmation screen asking if you want to unlock the bootloader. Use the volume down button to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power button to confirm. And yes, as you can see the fastboot screen now says flashing unlocked. 
that means the bootloader has been successfully unlocked. Now press the power button to reboot your phone. Your Motorola will restart and since we just unlocked the bootloader, all your data has been wiped. So we'll need to set up the device from the beginning. Let me quickly go through the setup process. And yes, the phone has now booted successfully. Let's open the settings app and quickly enable developer options again. Once you open developer options, you'll see the message that says bootloader already unlocked. This confirms that the Motorola bootloader has been successfully unlocked. And that's it. This is how you can unlock the bootloader on any Motorola phone, completely without a PC or computer. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with others who might find it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.